hello guys uh, in this lecture i will discuss about the actually i will create a playlist about how to log in uh, like uh, how to sign up uh, sign up a page or a page for the first time or how to log in uh, like how to how to manage the username uh, and password in the database and how to log in to the page uh, like the facebook or instagram login and then how to make is is and then how to get log out i uh, i am making a playlist about it and also i previously started the started the that part like uh, express express.js so i will uh, also continue that express part so and also you can understand uh, you can understand the express part uh, so if you don't uh, have any knowledge about the express you can check out my last video about the express and then uh, come to my this video so that you can understand that express okay so and also you can understand the express in the project is like how we'll apply in the uh, apply the express in the in your real life that in this playlist you will obviously uh, not so like i previously made it uh, html to html pages and uh, a style and the css tag you don't to understand the css you just just you can see the screen stop it and uh, copy that and you need to understand the html part i think you will understand the html and you will make the understand uh, you will make html and css i don't want to discuss css in the brief i will make uh sure about css but not today so in the node.js at first you need to make a js backend file js file backend js file then initialize the npm i discussed about it earlier initialize the npm like that is npm init will appear package that enter 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 author project shortcut and that yes enter and you will see that uh, any folder appears uh, that name is package.json and then also install the npm npm install i can see that a new json file appears so uh, and uh, in this you need to install the express obviously and so i'll tell about the how to use the express in your real life you can see that you will see that so just install uh, for this time install express it is installing you can see it is loading and uh, it's complete you can see in it the dependencies it is express if the express uh, is appeared in the dependencies you can make sure that express is installed or otherwise if it not appeared in the dependencies is have some errors or some try to install it once again and then for this install the install what actually for this time you don't need to install anything i will install mongoose and some other parts i will discuss about it later but in this lecture i will discuss only this express okay. so how to 
serve the HTML pages. So let's see. Right. How to connect the express? Okay, so uh, try and connect the express. I uh, give the name of express. You can uh, give any name. Any name uh, in that express part. So I just give the name of express for my inconvenience and uh, how to connect it from require and express express and then uh, express. I previously told in my last lecture how to connect with express and done uh, is done to my express part. And then give the middle words from the express like uh, uh, from where you were connecting you will connecting the like uh, the static files uh, that middleware you should don't should you will make the middlewares must make the middlewares so uh, how you can make the middlewares like app dot set you can set Sorry, app dot use and use the middlewares from uh, I give the domain name that is static URL that is static and then express dot static express dot static and then static. Okay, so I, uh, I connected the middleware. And then uh, for for collecting the data from the sign up page, you must give the like another middleware which is which is express dot URL encoded URL encoded and You can give this extended or if you don't give that uh, it also don't give any error okay but uh, you must give the express or url encoded in the app dot use uh, for collecting the data from, uh, from signing from the first time signing what is the idea about it uh, uh, when you uh, sign in uh, in a web page for the first time, uh, then you must give the uh, sign in details uh, for the first time username, password, then email, then contact, uh, contact number, or something, something else. You must give the, that, that details for the first time. And server, what server does? Server just collected the data and uh, save it to the database i will use the among database and then um, after that when you log in the page like facebook you log in the page you already sign in uh, at the sign first for the first time and just you now you just log in open the facebook your facebook home facebook tab so you just give the login username login place the username and password it will match from the database what you previously give in the database and then if the, the that matches then you will get your result or otherwise you will give you will uh, get an error so that is the main concept okay, so uh, now uh, we just serve the html files obviously app.get sorry not here app.get and just give the url which you uh, give the sign in page mm, you can see that my sign in page is like that or login page is not uh, not for properly or i connected connect from the server so uh, that is app.get and then what i give the uh, the url on sign in and then button login or sign up you can see that buttons login or sign up 
and uh, that is like the logging uh, URL is this means when you first enter the URL you will see the first login page and then so um, I give that uh, two buttons like you can see that login and sign up uh, the sign yeah, it is the sign up page okay you can see that the sign in I give the sign in uh, it will be sign up so forgot about that and, uh, pardon me it is it will sign up or so if you sign up I change it to sign up understand it is easy to understand for you so uh, that is sign up page it is sign up page for now and uh, then I, if I uh, click the login it will go to the login page which is this which is this index.html I want to serve when I click the login page okay and when you click the sign up page uh, it will show this sign in dot html uh, sign in dot html page okay so that uh, app dot get when we get the sign in url sorry i gave it sign up when you give the sign up url that uh, there appears callback function that request respond and give the respond or send file send file send file you can see that send file option and path oh. you must connected the path with your node server like this path equals to add required path okay so then uh, path dot path dot join to join the like to join the html page so directory name directory name and uh, from where uh, we are collecting uh, that is from views then from views folder and uh, sign in sign up means sign in dot html we want to search the so at first go to the views folder and then sign in dot is sorry sign sign in dot html okay. so it should work properly like okay i don't uh, The code that it's comes for eighteen and listen the code app dot listen with the code and uh, callback function that holds the error and if you give any error then console dot log So for that, let's keep it. Don't try then. Extra codings. So for that, it's okay for now. And our port is at uh, not eighty hundred. You can set uh, your port at any number between ninety ninety or ninety thousand from ten. 90. So that's okay, and then start. You can also uh, install uh, the node mod for your project. Okay, so what I am telling that uh, you can also use the node mod. You should use the node mod because node mod. one uh, is a very useful package you don't uh, run it like uh, node 
then app.js you don't uh, you should don't run it every time so if you save that file norman will automatically change it to the server so it is very helpful so we check it once that my node mod is installed or not yes my node mod is installed and then uh, what what uh, i done in the previous lectures to run the folder that is node and then app dot js dot js or you can use that name also so for but uh, use the node mod i I write the node mon app dot js and uh, I can see that uh, my mod is working. Okay, so just I checked once that it's working or not. Local host thousand. I don't. In thousand, so I give the signing URL. Sorry, sign up URL. So check. Also, not running. I think I made a mistake. I just um, wrote at the server previously that thousand, and I give the port uh, that hundred. So how can it be started? So. I change it, uh, it to a thousand and then it is running you can see that it is running and then if I click the login page it is uh, showing that cannot get because I uh, don't set any uh, I don't send any messages if we click on uh, that uh, like that login you can see that the login URL is this only this so I don't give any response from the server when my uh, url is only that i give the respond when my url is this so uh, this time it should give the respond when my url is this sorry this so give the request take the request and test the rest oh, it is like i don't so res dot uh, sorry send file and uh, this is the OA that how can you send uh, how can you send a HTML file uh, from your server DRI name and uh, that is fuse directory in text dot html i want to serve the index.html uh, when it is the login page okay. so it's the login page you can see that username and password and then submit it is obviously the login page and the sign in page uh, at the first time username password confirm password you can see that it is a sign in page you can understand i don't give any email and then phone number or something i just don't take the video so long so you can add that things okay. so i just uh, want to understand you guys the uh, concept login and sign up so now i save that and you can see that the server is automatically running for the node chase i don't uh, run it to uh, I don't write to run the node app and stuff. so node node mon is very helpful. So if you refresh it, then you can say that uh, it will show. Uh, it is what is this? It is the slash URL. It is slash. You can give the slash. It is also same. You can don't give the slash. It is also same. And uh, if I click the sign in page, then sign in what is sign in is it must be sign up okay so i don't change that picture sign up so then save it then you can see it will appear from that right. sign up 
what is my spelling sign up this is my spelling here it will also sign up if it is not connected the post method i will discuss about the future lectures sign up is also sign up so what uh, sign in dot html it is the name so it sign in save it or save it second save I save so You can see that the sign up pages appear this so I log in and then some days it appears sometimes the full scam does so don't know why it happened but okay you can see that uh, the login is a sign up and in this lecture I am discussing, I will discuss about that one part, uh, the one part that the post, that the post method, you can see I give the post, so what I am saying that uh, I will discuss about the post method, which is, uh, which is given in the action in this URL. Okay, so uh, how will you collect the data from the sign in? I just for now I don't I am not discussing the uh, login page so it is uh, after the sign in page you will understand that login page for for now I will uh, discuss I am discussing about the uh, sign up page and how to get the sign up data what you entered in the sign up sign up that you sign in that password and okay so uh, like uh, how to collect it the data that that method is app dot post you can see that uh, I gave the post method here that post method and uh, the form action is a, this URL so copy it And app dot post it is actually like the above just uh, one changes to make that uh, you just take the respond just take the uh, sorry you just take the request uh, what what the client requested to you uh, to save in the database so um, in this lecture, I will not discuss about how to store in the MongoDB database. I will store uh, in the MongoDB database in my future lectures. But in this lecture, I am discussing that how to, how you can collect the data which, uh, which user have entered in the sign up page. You can see that uh, console it to take the data. From what you can take the data, it required request dot body simple that one program you can take the data from uh, for this terminal for uh, from the uh, user okay so just go to the uh, sign up page and it is the sign up page so you understand username okay so I give the username that uh, password one password one get account it is just loading and uh, I think the save okay. yes you can see that uh, uh, the data the user have entered the data is the user what you have what user entered the data you can get the data from this one line only it is loading because uh, i don't uh, give any and like when you uh, 
when you submit submit uh, the submit the form i don't give any send file if any okay, so you can also give that part to i'll discuss about the about this in the next lecture so for this lecture you will understand the how to uh, get the data from the uh, for how to get the data what user have entered in the uh, sign up page and in this way you can get the data from the login page also but in the login page you in the login page you must uh, compare the passwords which you have entered the first time and which you have entered now so login page is different because you have to uh, matches you have to matches the password from the database so uh, but the getting but uh, the getting of the data is same uh, how you can get the data it is request dot body and what is this username and then password and then confirm it is that name you must give the name of uh, you must give the name each in each inputs that is name you can see that i give the username in uh, first input is username so it is username and then password okay so you must give the name and uh, this is for today and in the upcoming lectures i will uh, discuss about how you can store these data into your database i uh, i will what i will use i will use the i will use the storing for the data in uh, mongodb i will store the data in the mongodb so prepare about that and uh, this is for today and if you like our videos please like the videos and subscribe to our channel and uh, see ya this is for today goodbye stay healthy stay safe